Hello everyone, um, the next thing you're about to see is what I think is the opening cutscene to Arrival. Arrival, there we go, correct vowel sound. Arrival, which is a DLC that everyone said you should get, but you shouldn't play it until the very end of the game. Uh, so what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to include it here, because if I cut it out, then the bit I'm going to leave in will basically be me going, I think that's from Arrival. Um, which would then mean you're completely confused. Potentially. Um, so I'm going to leave it in here, but I have, in editing, cut it out and saved it as a separate video file, and I'll tack it on after I've finished the main part of the game. I'll put that in, and then we'll go on with Arrival and pretend that that's when we actually first got it. So, uh, in the in-game, I've received it now, so that's why I've included it, but... In universe, in world, in RP, in role playing, that's when it's gonna ha it's gonna happen at that point. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hack at Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't. Thinking about it, this is what I think it is. Okay, tell me about Dr. Kenson. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. Okay, how will this affect the Batarian relations? The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. Oh, you just happen to be informing me that this person is now in prison. Okay. You say she's under terrorism charges? What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. Okay, so she says there's a Reaper invasion coming. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. And you want me to go alone? I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Jensen is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. I'll save her. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Arata. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. Right. I think that is, um, uh, I, th I I might be incorrect, but I think that's, uh, the Oracle DLC, so, um, everyone said that I'll get it some point in the game, uh-huh, there we go, but I shouldn't use it, because, uh, I shouldn't go on the, go on it, because, We'll never drink. Um, yeah. Um, 
so uh, people said wait until after the end of Mass Effect 2 at the end well the end of the main stuff and we'll do it uh, and you should do it so I'll wait until then and we're gonna have a drink because it seems very much like uh, uh, Shepard and Ashley there 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 that's it no more I am mortally wounded by such things what did the red one taste like or is it just the same? I think he prefers the blue one. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Okay, the ship is swaying. The ship is swaying. I think I prefer him having the blue one, because then we don't have this. There you are. Hello. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. That's the engineers, isn't it? The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, <laughs> life finds a way. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Random bits of... Maybe we should... I think we'll go down. We'll have a chat with people to the uh, engineering. And we'll work our way up to CIC. And then we'll head to... Uh, Omega, maybe the Citadel. Probably could do with reading ye all the um, emails if we have some more ones. Um, uh, no, come on, brain. What were you saying? You were saying something. Yeah, uh, we'll head to the um, to Omega or the Citadel and, and buy armor. Armor sounds good. Shepard, talk about you. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this, picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. Any other human imprints? Any other human imprints? What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarians, Asari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> ah, never mind. No, to be blunt, I don't see the point. <laughs> you have no reaction to any of that? Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak, pitiful. I ignored I need a warrior, and yet you became strong. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Hmm. Right. So, this through there is where um, Zaid is. I don't think he says much stuff, does he? I think this is Gabby and Ken. reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> what can we do for you, Commander? Okay, so you jo uh, why did you join Cerberus? How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. What about you, Gabby? So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. 
Also, Aww. I love Indians, and the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Oh, well, Kasumi's right. What do you think about Su Cerberus? What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in the daddy bags. That's enough for me. Okay, I've already asked that one. Uh, and training? Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. And then you left the Alliance? Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. I noticed. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat. As a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. Hmm, that's right. Thanks. Carrier. Well do, Commander. Kasumi's right. Aww. Um, let's have a chat with Jack, shall we? She can complain about uh, meeting Ashley or something. Hi, Jack. Hey. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I wouldn't joke about that. Maybe later. I don't know. How would he respond? I don't know. I think you are putting her through her paces anyway. Maybe later. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. You joined a cult? It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. And what happened to them? What did you do when you found out? What do you think? You don't trust anyone, do you? You must have met some good people, too. Everybody wants something. And because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all. And that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. <laughs> one of these things is not like the others. One of these things just doesn't belong. Vandalism? I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism at that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. I'm guessing that's the destruction of a space station. A space station. You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. Okay, theft of a military craft. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. <laughs> and piracy? You were a pirate too? Yarr! Same with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. You don't regret anything. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. You're welcome, I think. Not sure exactly what the correct response to that is. Um, right. So I think we've spoken to everyone around here, uh, except for Zaid. But I think Zaid just has a loop rather than. I 
think um, maybe let's, we can try talking to him, see what he says. But he might just loop round. Back for more. Yes. Tough fight on horizon. I fought slavers right. and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. I just like a few things. Slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band, well on her way to Omega. Eight years old. Should have had no chance on Horizon. Mm -hmm. Jack, Subject Zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Okay. So it sounds like he has like one line permission. That'll be interesting. We should pop back to see him every so often then. Right. To the crew quarters where we talk with a lot of people. And by a lot of people, I mean we've already spoken to Kasumi, so it's just Garrus and Miranda. Oh, have I spoken to Miranda recently? I can't remember. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Of course. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about Father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. Only not anymore, it seems. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. Okay. Your sister. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Okay. You want to relocate her? Where? Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. Okay. Well, I'm sure we can help. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Okay, a few quests coming in. What have we got? So we've got Tally. Yay! I'm gonna get Tally. Woo! Um, just a car at Samara. We have the assassin. That's Thin Krios, who's an expert sniper. That's my thing. Well, it was my thing in the last game. I'm not doing that much. So ever since. Delivered information on purchases of Shadow Brokers made recently. It may provide the information Liara to Sony needs to track down the Shadow Brokers location. Jacob wants us uh, to talk to him about something. Miranda, the thing, and obviously he's stopping the collectors. So, well, uh, in that case, maybe we should go and Aren't get you Tally. Originally stationed on Horizon. Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the collectors right now. Hmm. Wow. Really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creeped the hell out of me. Okay, so some of these people were recruited really recently by the sounds of it. Because otherwise it'd just be, oh yeah, I was once on. But she may have been moved unless it was really soon, so. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Okay, mm okay. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. So we'll talk to Jacob, talk to Morden, and... Hmm. Yeah, Jacob, Morden, Joker, Kelly. 